Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am starting my vlog today. It's Monday, uh, July 6th, 7th, 8th, I don't know. What's today? I'm looking at my watch. The 6th. And I went to the postie and I got mayo. Here's a card from Linda. Aww. It says, with God all things are possible. And I think, oh, and then they're prayer cards. And he has made everything beautiful in its time. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the cat. And it's a sweet note. Aww. Thank you, and I really appreciate that. It really brings my spirits up to get cards and stuff in the mail. I really appreciate it. And this is from Penny, all the way from London, Ontario. What? That's funny because I know two people now. Well, I know two people from London, Ontario. I watch a YouTube channel, um, Off the Grid Needle Arts. She's from London, Ontario. Aww. There's a card involved. <gasps> Was it kitty and yarn? Guys, a kitty and yarn. Uh, greetings from Canada. Aww. Thank you, Penny. <gasps> Guys, your stuff. Ooh. Coffee. Oh, a keychain. Oh, look at the cat. Look at the cat. Oh, I can't wait to use that. And some candies. Guys, oh, you're so kind. What are these? Crinos. Aw. Oh, and there's an angel. Look at the angel. Oh, guys, you are so kind to me. Thank you so much. It's a little emotional. I gotta get some thank you cards out. And thank you so much, Penny. I really appreciate that. All the way from Canada. I was supposed to go to Canada in September. Um, so Caroline, who is off the grid needle arts, is from London or lives in London, Ontario. I don't know where she's from. But she was putting on a cross stitch retreat in September, and I was supposed to go. But because of what's going on, it's been canceled and um, it's been rescheduled or is being rescheduled for like April, May next year, which is fine. So I'll be in Canada. Whoop, whoop. All right, I'm driving. I got to go to work. I'm the lone notary for my team and I got to go notarize some stuff until we get my digital notary up and running. And then I can do it electronically. But I will, I will check back in with ya. Hey guys. Ugh, it is Tuesday morning. It's 10.59. 10 86 degrees outside. So my car tells me. And I am headed to the doctor's office. Oops, sorry, my phone thingy. I tightened it, but it might be breaking on me here. Headed to the doctor. I uh, thought I would bring you along and share with you what the process is. Um, I do know I need to call them when I get there. Let them know that um, you know I'm here. They'll call me back when they're ready. Somebody will bring me a paper mask that I have to wear and not my cotton mask, which is fine. Because that will actually, I believe they're like the N95s, N45s, N75s, but that will protect me if somebody in there is ill. I'm pretty sure I don't have it because I was just tested, but what are you gonna do? So, I stopped at Starbucks. Oh, and then they'll come out and get me when they're ready. Got an iced tea today, and ugh, allergies. Not why I'm going to the doctor. I mean, there's nothing they can do for that. So my work requires or 
doesn't require, but my health insurance, we have an HSA, health savings account. And each year we have certain tasks we have to complete in that year and then they deposit $750 into our health savings account for the next year. So it happens, I have until like, I don't know, September, October. And then in February, January, February, they deposit this $750. Plus I take out money each paycheck to put into my medical health savings. And to me, it covers my glasses for the year, which are expensive. I mean, I have, my, I have vision insurance. Don't get me wrong. I've got decent insurance. But my vision is pretty poor. I'm farsighted, and it's a plus three point something. So it's a pretty strong prescription. And I have, I think, astigmatism or something. So anyway, my after my insurance, so these glasses here, after my insurance, I still paid out of pocket almost $400. And that was, you know, I get the scratch resistant because I have to wear them all the time, every day. Um, the transition to sunglasses is, comes with my prescriptions. It's, it doesn't cost me anything. Um, but I have progressive lenses. So we're something he, like trifocals basically to help with my vision. So they're just expensive. You know, I get the lightweight lenses, which is an additional like $75 per lens or something. It, you know, it's costly. And pretty much my prescription changes yearly. I'm diabetic, so I have to go every year. Um, this year, it didn't change much, which was nice that I didn't have to, I didn't have to buy new glasses, but you know, I did. And now I have a backup pair, which is always ideal. If, you, if you're a glasses or contact dependent wearer, I can't see without my glasses on. I couldn't function without some type of glasses. So anyway, just all that to say, I needed a biometric screening. Um, typically, it's done at our office. We have um, like a function room and Ohio Health sends in their team and they do the finger pricking thing and check your blood sugar, your cholesterol, just basics. And they do a screening, health screening, and you're awarded dollars based on your health screening and doing the biometric. You know, it's part of their way too, we're self-insured, my bank is, to make sure that people are getting checked out when they need to. At least once a year you're getting your blood pressure checked and things like that. I go to the doctor. So I see my doctor, my family, internal medicine. Unless I'm sick, I've been going about once a year. And that's really what's required. And um, then I see my endocrinologist twice a year. Every six months for my diabetes and my thyroid. And typically, one or the other of the doctors, they're both in the same health system. One or other will order blood work depending on if I'm due and who I'm seeing next. So in January, I had my yearly or my six month visit with my endocrinologist and I've had all my blood work done for the year or the six month cycle depending. And I asked my doctor's office, my primary care, I sent a, you know, called and I'm like, can you just fill out this biometric screening? Obviously I can't get it done at the office. They've canceled all that kind of stuff. So can I get a biometrics? You fill out my paperwork and send it in for my insurance so I can get my money. Well, you need to be seen. Why do I need to be seen? You haven't been in since October. Right, and I'm not due again until October. That's how it works. So I'm a little frustrated with this situation only because um, you know, it's, it's a risk. It's a risk to them and it's a risk to me that's not necessary. This is not necessary. I'm not sick. I don't need to be seen. I, you know, I was ill last week. You know, but when you're sick and you call, if you ever tried calling your primary care, it's really hard to get into if you're sick. But they didn't even want me coming in the office when I thought I had COVID. They sent me to a screening center and I got tested and that's how it worked. Somebody had asked too how long the test takes. Um, I had... Now, mind you, there's two different things going on in Franklin and Fairfield counties where I live in Ohio. They are drive-through at the hospital or doctor's office. 
I mean hospitals or specific, there's three places in Columbus, the Columbus area that you can go. No appointment, it's a drive-through, first come, first serve. I think through Ohio Health, they are um, open 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they're outside and they're doing this. No prescription, a prescription is required. So your doctor has to call in an order, but there's no, res you don't have to schedule an appointment or anything, you just go through. Uh, that's what I did, especially when the fever kicked in. I was like, yeah, I need to be tested for this. But anyway, um, I had the test done at 8 o'clock, and I had my results back at 3. So that's not bad. I mean, that's obviously if you're sick, sick, sick at the hospital, they're going to get them back much quicker than that. But this was through a testing site. Now, CVS, Kroger, and Walmart, if they have health centers, are doing screenings as well. From what I saw on the CVS website, it takes two to four days to get your results back. You do require a, an appointment, but you do not require a doctor's referral. So I'm assuming they're doing, they're trying to get the doctor referral ones out quicker because people are sick and showing signs maybe. I don't really know, but um, I did get my results back in about seven hours, which the paper that I received said um, six to 24 hours is what they are trying to get the turnaround. You know, but they're testing thousands and thousands of people throughout the state a day. So for mine to come in at seven hours, you know, was good, I thought. I mean, that's, that was fine. It was a little nerve wracking, but I'm glad I did it. And I'm glad that, um, you know, I feel better. Mostly. I'm still stuffy. And my head is still stuffed up, but I'm almost wondering. The cats are shedding really bad. And I'm almost wondering if, um, oops, wrong exit. I'm almost wondering if uh, I'm developing an allergy to the cats. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get rid of them or anything, but it would explain why my allergies are so bad right now because they are shedding super bad. Like I've been brushing them and vacuuming every single day like a mad woman. I even went and picked up at, um, I think it was at Marshall's over the weekend real quick. And it, in the pet section, I was looking for a cat brush, but I had, ooh, I had the brush that they were referring to that they had but they also what is going on here something is in my hair oh something is in my hair there was a bug in my hair dude I just threw it across my car okay well that was weird there was a bug in my hair all right but I got it anyway I got this um it's called a lint brush, but it's rubber and it has all these like little fingers and you rub it over the fabric and the fabric, um, or it picks up all the fur. So I use that around where they're sleeping and stuff, just trying to catch up and cut, you know, catch up with all this dander that they are shedding right now. So maybe that's, I don't know, maybe. I haven't had my te allergies tested in several years. Um, but it's definitely a possibility. Let's turn here, shall we? I think we shall. My doctor's office is towards downtown Columbus. I'm really kind of wigged out, guys, that there's a bug in my car. And it was in my hair. All right. I'm going to pull into the doctor's office. Right on time, even. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's 10 o'clock. I ran into uh, Volunteers of America. I like to check it out on the weekends. I want to do, sorry about the sun, I want to do some DIYs with some thrifting hauls. I'm trying to, oh here it is, I'm trying to find my sanitizer. I did once, but I like to do a double dose of the sanitizer. I want to do some DIY, some thrifting upcycle for fall. 
and you know that I love doing trays for my dining room table and I have one on there now but I wanted something a little bigger for winter or fall and I found and it was four dollars and ninety four cents but look at the size of this tray now I think um, it's like a hanging thing maybe because it has a hook you can hang it but it also has feet so I don't know we were gonna hang it it's this hideous pewter color but I'm gonna clean this sucker up and it's huge and I'm ooh, going to spray paint I think copper I'm really digging copper this year we'll see copper or white maybe cream to go with my gold I don't know but I'm gonna paint it a color and then I found, totally wasn't looking for these, but you pick them up when you find them. These are the Walmart brand sheer panels. Two panels in a pack, 84 inch. This is what I use in my living room. And the cats kind of touch them sometimes. So they were $5.99, which I don't think was a bad deal for two sheer. So I grabbed those. I spent a whole $11. Uh, but I liked that tray. I did want something with more height to it. So I may, if I can find another rectangular tray of the same, maybe same proportion or something smaller, I can uh, get a second tier on that. We'll see. But I really liked the shape. And I have a couple surfaces that it can sit on, but I really would like it for... My dining room table to hold um, fall, all the fall decor. Oops. And maybe, oh, I should probably back up. And maybe it will go to winter. I don't know. I could take it over to Christmas for sure if I like it well enough. Um, but we'll see. So that was my one little stop. I am in Fairfield County, Ohio. And Fairfield and Franklin are requiring mandatory masks, which it doesn't matter to me. I've been wearing a mask for months. I'm used to it. I have in my car, there's my stack of masks and a tissue. My stack of masks and as I wear them, I wash them bring them back out here and I keep them in my car and that way when I and one in my purse the one in my purse stays there until it actually is used so it's like my backup I guess so yeah allergies are a little better today I have gone on a mission guys I don't know if I told you or not I stripped my bed I'm having a piece of gum I stripped my bed all the way down to the mattress I vacuumed the mattress I flipped my Tempur-Pedic, I have a four inch Tempur-Pedic topper. I flipped that over. I washed the dust ruffle. No, I don't have a dust ruffle. Bed pad. I washed my bed pad. I washed the Tempur-Pedic pad. All my sheets, duvet covers, everything. Pillowcases, I mean, I always change my sheets, but I don't always every week wash my duvet. They're kind of a pain. Um, if you don't know what a duvet is, it goes over a comforter. So I have two white featherless down comforters. Um, and then you buy the sleeve. It's like a it's like a pillowcase for a comforter, really. It goes over it. I have two of those on my bed. One is a queen size because I have a queen size bed, and then the top one that you see when I do videos in my room, the white with the gray and uh, burgundy. That is a king. Because I like it to hang over on either side. So, there you go. So, and then, my floors in my room are like a wood. So I went under the bed with the vacuum and I dusted every single corner. I got everything in my room. I did the walls with the duster. My up tall. I don't think I've ever showed you, but I have, uh, I think, 18 foot ceilings on one side. They're vaulted. And up at the tippity top on one side is my return bin. So I got my desk drop there. I have decided that 
cat fur might be my problem. They're shedding so badly right now. And then I changed my, and I vacuumed every floor upstairs, cleaned all the bathrooms, corners, everything. Got all the fur up. And then I um, changed my furnace filter with a HEPA. I spent a little extra on it. So hopefully that will help get the uh, dander and stuff that circulates to my house. So the upstairs has been done. I even vacuumed out my dryer. Not that there's cat, well, I guess there is cat dander in there, but I got in there while I was vacuuming. And yeah, and I'm trying this weekend to finish up those projects downstairs on my main level, and then I'll go down and vacuum the basement. They're not really down there too terribly much, but while I'm in the mood to vacuum, I might as well. And my basement is a spare bedroom. It's where Sarah stays when she comes. So I may go ahead and strip that bed as well. Do the same thing. Change the sheets. I mean, she's... She hasn't been here since before COVID lockdown to spend the night. So I can't tell you the last time that bed was slept in. It definitely was before March. I would say probably in January it was slept in. Um... And obviously, if I had somebody come, I would change it, but I'll probably go down and do the same thing down there. Just make sure I'm getting all the dander because I think that is helping with my allergies. Um, somebody had asked a question. Yes, I use Flonase every day, morning and night. Two squirts in each nose, and it's a prescription strength. I also take Allegra every day, year-round. And then when it's bad... Like it has been, I take Sudafed. Two Sudafed. I try not to take too much Sudafed because it can affect your heart rate and your blood pressure. Um, so there's that. However, I just went to, when I went to my, I went to a physical, my blood pressure is super low. So they're low. I take a 10, or I did take a 10 milligram blood pressure medication to help with my diabetes, but they cut that in half the bottom of my coffee. I don't know. So I have one more errand to run. I need to get some groceries and then I'm going to stay home and probably edit videos, I would think. And do some cross-stitching. Alright, guys. We'll chat.